So you might not actually believe what happens in this hunt. In fact, I don't even think I believe what happened fully in this hunt. But there's definitely some positive things and some negative things that happen in this hunt. I would say the positive thing, we found another giant diamond in the night. Now the negative thing, I honestly don't think my map has a single diamond potential bull elk on this entire map. But hey, I'm not going to complain about another giant diamond. Anyways, the other diamonds that we ended up getting... Uh, let's just say the first white tail. I didn't get a chance to spot it. I saw it. I knew it was big picked up the track The track was max weight, but then the coyote I never actually spotted that picked up the track that track was max weight But this one tonight I spotted it and I could tell it was a diamond So it's night out again, and I just came down here looking for you know what a dime potential true rack bull elk and well We didn't find that but we found another monster Dime potential blacktail buck. He is right there, 150 yards away. All right, so we got him out here at 120. I would have liked to have him come in and take him down with the bow, but if he's just gonna sit there. And we'll go for a shot. I can guarantee you one thing. We definitely got lung. All right, so there he is down right there. And that was indeed a vital hit. That was his track, right? Was it not? Do a consecutive check. We are good. And... That... is another 1,000 scoring diamond blacktail. With a trophy rating of 191.7 holy i can't believe we just got another diamond black tail but honestly when i first saw this i thought it could have been the same diamond that we got from before but we're way on the south end of the map the other 1000 scoring diamond that we got was on the far northeast end over by chila now we're way on the bottom end towards the Belmont railroad i think it is something like that the Belmont railroad bridge so we're way on the south end so there's no way that this would be the same buck it's got to be a completely different buck i mean i just I can't believe it's another thousand scoring though. I, I, I can't believe that. Okay guys, just because I was so much in disbelief that we got another 1000 scoring diamond black tail that I went back and checked on the trophy rating of our other buck. That one had a trophy rating of 190 and this one had a trophy rating of 191.7. So that means this black tail was even bigger. And most importantly, that means it's a completely different buck. All right, guys, let me show you exactly where we just got that 1,000 scoring diamond blacktail. Right here is the Belmont River system is what I call it. I mean, it just says Belmont, but technically this is Belmont Lake here. So I just call this Belmont River system. Anyways, there's like a really little lake right here, kind of like an oval shape. And I kind of thought that there might be some big elk around here because I've never really gone here before. And it is 1900 at night and I spotted like 30 blacktail here. No lie, there was, I mean, black tail everywhere. And I thought, there's probably going to be a diamond in there. And sure enough, <laughs> there was a diamond, all right. <laughs> and he scored 1,000. So there you have it. Another giant diamond black tail in the night. So whenever I go out hunting during the day now, I can't even find a decent buck. I mean, yeah, we have a gold potential here, but not even close to a diamond and the one time we went out at night we ended up getting a 992 scoring giant diamond white tail so i don't know i mean I, it's awesome to hunt during the day but honestly what i think is at night i'm finding a lot more tracks from different bucks that i'm not seeing during the day or different well everything but elk <laughs> for some reason i can't find any big bull elk tracks anywhere on my entire map and I've covered pretty much every inch of this map. Dang, that is some good shooting. Maybe not that one, but I think we took down one, two, and three. That was a pretty good shot. Running spinal cord and neck shot. Double lung shot, 850 score on him. 
But I mean, yeah, that's like my biggest buck that I can find during the day. Okay, so we know we can find giant diamonds at night, but is it really the only time we can find them? Maybe it's because my map is set up that way. I don't know, maybe you have a similar map as well. Anyways, what I want to try and do is go out during the day and see if we can find something close to a diamond. And then, of course, we'll head back to the trophy lodge and take a look at our giant diamond. So I'm pretty sure we have a melanistic drake mallard duck here. This is the first rare melanistic mallard duck that I've seen in Call of the Wild. So this is a pretty cool moment. We're going to try and take him down with the bow. Alright guys, 42 yards out, right there he is. We're going to go for a shot. We got him! He's down! <laughs> nice! 42 yards out and we smoked him. First off, did we get the right duck? Looks like we did indeed get the right duck and let's pick him up. He's a silver! Take a look at that though. A pure melanistic. Not quite big enough for a gold, but... This is my first melanistic Drake Mallard. Looks like we made a 45 yard shot. Hit him in the left lung, so pretty good shot on him as well. And we will get him mounted for sure. Okay guys, I'm pretty sure we just found a giant diamond whitetail. Right there. And it's daytime, so that's kind of hard to believe. I mean, <laughs> look at the size of that buck. No! 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 There's two of them! There's two of them! There's two Dime Potential White Tails right here! <sighs> Holy! Uh, that guy looks to be like a... I mean, 960s? But then this guy here is probably like a 990s? That? is definitely two diamond potential white tail bucks right there all right guys so we just snuck up to 150 yards away from these two giant diamond potential white tails i think what we're gonna do we're gonna put out a call and try and get one to turn broadside take a nice shot on that one and then wait for the second one to come back so here we go bunch of ducks coming in this is unbelievable. This buck here is coming right in. Smoked. And he's down. There goes the other down potential buck right there. But we are definitely not going to take a bad shot on him. We got a smaller buck here. Is that him? And he's going down. Kind of wanted a consecutive check out of that, but I think we ended up getting a flesh hit. And we are good. All right, and here's our buck. Let's take a look at him. Holy! 997 score! With a trophy rating of 284.3, we made a liver stomach left lung shot at 117 yards out and a giant! This should be him right here. This should be him. And I would definitely say that is... No way! That's a thousand scoring diamond whitetail. We officially have a 1000 scoring diamond whitetail, true rack, and a 1000 whitetail diamond OG rack whitetail. That was incredible. And here's the small one that we ended up hitting in the neck for a consecutive check. Might as well pick him up as well. 
All right, so let's show you now where we just got those two giant diamond whitetail. We're over here by the Willapeg outpost just to the east side. I've been here several, several times. I actually got one whitetail that I thought would have been diamond. Ended up scoring like a 948 or something like that. So yeah, we're right here. The drink zone is 12 until 1530. I believe it was like 1300 when we first spotted that whitetail. And yeah, this is where it's at. All right, guys, here we are back at the trophy lodge and take a look at our three giant diamonds. We have two giant whitetail and one giant blacktail. One, actually we have two 1000 scoring diamonds and one 996 scoring diamond whitetail absolutely incredible and take a look right here so we actually put our 1000 scoring true rack diamond whitetail right here right out in the front next to our 1000 scoring diamond blacktail that we just got right now and over here we have our 996 diamond whitetail our first 1000 diamond blacktail and our original 992 true rack diamond whitetail that we smoked out of the tree stand with a bow so i believe we ended up getting two 1000 scoring diamonds in the same day and with that i think that's going to be a pretty good way to end this video so i hope you guys enjoyed it i wish you guys find some diamonds and we'll see you next time One thousand scoring true rack diamond and a one thousand scoring OG diamond in the same lodge. That is something you just don't see every day. I think we might be the only ones that have this actually.